Hello everybody and welcome to our, our short movie. Uh, what we attempt or what we will be attempting to do is to bring flag marshalling uh, up into what we des uh, describe as the 21st century of flag marshalling. For many, many, many years, um, nothing really has changed with flag marshalling duties in off-road. Uh, it's uh, our intention uh, to bring our ideas to fruition for everybody who participates in motocross, not just at MXGP level, but right down to national events, international events, local races, whichever you decide you want to participate in, as most people are volunteers as flag marshals. So, we have a duty of care. Uh, our duty of care is to make sure that we provide the safest, risk-free possibilities for flag marshalling worldwide that we introduce a system that everybody can understand, it, it's simple, it will be simple, and that everybody can exercise at each race that they participate in. Um, so it's very important for us uh, to do this kind of work. We've recognised uh, over the last number of years that uh, motocross has become uh, a very high risk sport from the point of view that uh, flag marshals need to take a particular care of themselves. and. You know, these are generally young people, enthusiastic people, but at the same time, they all have families, they all have lives, and we have to do our most best to protect people in these situations. So, over the, the next uh, while, let's say, it may not all happen uh, at this event, but we will attempt to uh, introduce to you Mr. Chris Warren, who is the person responsible for the flag marshalling duties and instruction over all of the series of the MXGP. We felt it was important to make this, uh, this short uh, movie uh, to give you a first-hand demonstration of what it's like and for us to ensure that you have a better understanding of how to become a better flag marshal and get more satisfaction and more reward from the event. Hello, I'd like to talk to you now about the safety of our flag marshals. The flag marshals are the only people that can communicate with the riders when they're on the track. And they do this by the use of their flags to warn the riders of any dangers, hazards or incidents on the track. What we try to achieve now is that the flag marshal no longer stands next to the white track marker pegs close to the track where he's in great danger. What we try to do now is to get the marshals to stand back from the track, maybe two, three, or even four meters away. And then when there's an incident, they move forward to the track and they use their flags to warn the riders. Having positioned the marshal two, three meters back from the track, it's important that we give the marshal a flat and firm base to stand on. He must also have an escape route so that if a bike is heading in his direction, he has somewhere to run or to move out of the way so he doesn't get hit by the bike. So it's very important to give the marshal somewhere comfortable to stand so that he can carry out his duties to the best of his ability. As you know, most incidents happen on jumps. So it's important that we give the rider the earliest possible warning if there is a danger ahead. Now to do that, we like to position our marshals once again, two or three meters back from the side of the track, but on the base of the takeoff and on the base of the landing ramp. Now the marshal on the takeoff ramp keeps a close eye on his colleague at the landing. And if there's an incident, the marshal on the takeoff ramp can move forward to the track, can wave his flags, and this enables him to give the rider the earliest possible warning that he should slow down and not attempt the jump. Another method we can use to keep our marshals safe is to position them once again two or three metres back from the side of the track, but actually have them facing the track so they can see a rider coming and then watch him as he passes. This way, it gives them an early warning if a bike is out of control and is coming in their direction. It gives them more time to take evasive action themselves. And lastly, maybe it's time that the organisers now consider some safety equipment for the marshals some kind of head protection. 
some safety glasses and some ear protection. Because the more comfortable our marshals feel, the better they do their job. And it stops them from getting injured. It all boils down to marshal safety. Something that should be paramount in all our thoughts. Because the flag marshals are so important on the side of the track, and as was previously stated, they are the only people that can communicate with the riders to tell them if there is an unsafe situation or an incident that they should be aware of. It's very important that the flags are used correctly. The yellow flag is the flag that has two uses. The first use is the stationary yellow flag. This tells the rider to be cautious. There is something ahead of him and he may have to take some avoiding action. The second use of the yellow flag is the waved yellow flag. Now this is extremely important because this tells the rider that there is something serious ahead. It tells the rider that he has to slow down he has to be prepared to stop. He must not overtake. And above all, a significant reduction in speed should be seen and jumps should not be attempted. This allows the rider to pass the incident safely without hitting anybody or in fact being hit himself. Once the rider has passed the incident, he can then resume his race. The marshal must also carry a medical flag. Now this is a very important flag because it tells the rider that there are medical personnel on the track working on an injured rider. It is very important to keep the medical personnel as safe as possible whilst they're working. So the rider, when sees the medical flag, has to slow down and roll every obstacle until he has passed the incident. It is also very important to note that this medical flag must not be used to summon medical help. It is only used when the medical personnel are on the track and working. The blue flag is used to warn a slower rider that he is about to be lapped. The slower rider must maintain his line maintain his speed and not to hinder the faster rider as he comes past. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed our short film. Uh, the intention of this film was, of course, to bring to you the awareness, the awareness and the importance of your flag marshalling duties. It's very, very important that you've uh, learnt and understood uh, the risks that are involved as a flag marshal and the importance of protecting your life and those who are working with you at your post. Uh, from our point of view, it's uh, very, very important that you go away with an understanding that you maintain at all times a 180 degree vision of the traffic, the motorbikes that are coming towards you and what's happening going away from you in the rider's interest. So it's important that you, you get to understand this stance and know where to position yourself exactly on the track and at all times make sure you are safe. If you're not safe, make sure you tell somebody and get the position changed or adjusted so that your life is protected and you enjoy a fantastic weekend of motocross, irrelevant of what level. So it's important that you understand these very basics as motocross is a sport for life. Believe me, I've got grey doing it. Thank you. <laughs>